morning of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Um, on the 70th anniversary from that bombing, and uh, you know, each year we try to take time on this program, anyways, to remember uh, what's at stake here, uh, to re renew our resolve to work for peace, uh, and also to try to think clearly uh, as Catholics. You know, the straightforward answer, if you look at the consensus of the Catholic moral reflection on the use of nuclear weapons, uh, the consensus is clear. It, it, the mass killing of civilian populations is not permissible. So I mean, that's the that's the the conclusion here. The problem is, does it necessarily follow that President Truman's decision to drop the atomic bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki does that mean it's automatically immoral? Now this comes into lots of questions regarding circumstances, right? Uh, the key point that Truman's defenders raise is that there was no credible alternative to ending the war, or in fact that all alternatives to ending the war would have cost more lives, uh, both American and Japanese lives, and civilian lives, uh, in the case of the Japanese, uh, you know, if they continued the fighting. Now, these things are all debatable. They deal with counterfactuals, and uh, in the past we've had uh, the Holy Cross Father Wilson Miss Campbell with us. Uh, he has a 2011 book called The Most Contro Controversial Decision, Truman, the Atomic Bombs, and the Defeat of Japan. And a few things to keep in mind as we think about this. I think the, the first thing to remember is that mass killing of civilians had already been accepted as part of war. I mean, that was... It wasn't just Hitler that accepted it. Churchill accepted it, Roosevelt accepted it. So you have this, you know, in the early years of World War II, the concept of a military target expanded so that you have the transportation hub of manufact a manufacturing center, and you say, well, look, that's through the military, even if it's uh, primarily by civilians, it's helping the war effort. So that becomes a target then. So once supply, once transport come to be considered of military significance, hardly any city center is exempt then. And as the war continued year after year, the shift from precision bombing of military targets to area bombing of cities became more and more pronounced. Uh, again, just these are circumstances in which the decision to drop the bomb was made. I think it's interesting that there's plenty of reason to believe that Truman himself didn't quite understand. He knew this was a bomb. He knew it was the biggest bomb. But I don't know if he understood that it was going to change the way people began thinking about bombs and just war. And so we're going to take time coming up in just a few minutes with Dr. Stephen Long of Ave Maria University to explore the Catholic thinking. Uh, of the just war. Go back into history, see how it's developed over time, see if in fact the development of atomic and nuclear weapons changes some of the calculus here. And we've got so much to talk about and uh, much to learn. I'm Al Cresto. Uh,